Food Service Training Program presented by Nutrition Care Systems. Today's topic, Effects of Aging on Eating Habits and Nutrition. Upon completing this in service, you will be able to number one, describe three physiological changes that occur with aging, and number two, list three ways nutritional status can be affected by physiological changes that occur with aging. So some of the changes that can occur in the body with aging would include sensory losses, changes in the GI function, which most commonly is constipation, decrease in metabolic rate, and a decrease in cardiovascular function. Other changes that can occur would be decrease in kidney or renal function, decrease in neurological function, and also a decrease in energy or calorie expenditure. Elderly patients or residents do not need as many calories as a younger person. Some of the ways these changes can affect the nutritional status of a resident would be there's a decreased interest in food due to a decreased sense of taste and smell. Things just don't taste or smell like they used to. Also can be an inability to chew food related to poor dentition. That's why a lot of people may need a puree or mechanical soft diet. Also a decreased absorption of vitamin D and calcium. There is also an increased prevalence of lactose intolerance, cognitive issues that affect meal intake and or the interest in food, and a need for fewer calories due to decreased metabolic rate and a decreased energy expenditure, as was mentioned before. So what are some appropriate interventions for plan of care? You could provide a texture modified diet, as we mentioned earlier, if needed, due to problems with chewing or swallowing. Recommend a multivitamin or a supplemental nutritional product if a meal intake is poor. Uh, provide lactose-free milk if the resident is lactose intolerant. Also, you should evaluate the need for meal setup, or queuing, feeding assistance, or maybe just setup assistance. Provide the resident nutrient-dense foods if needed. And also limit their empty calorie foods that will prevent any unwanted weight gain. Let's take a short quiz to see how much you learned in today's in-service on effects of aging on eating habits. Question number one, which of the following is not always a problem associated with aging? A, constipation. B, swallowing problems. C, poor dentition. Or D, decreased absorption of some vitamins and minerals. And the answer to question number one, which of the following is not always a problem associated with aging? And that would be B, swallowing problems. Now they are very common in elderly, but not every person has a swallowing problem as they age. Question number two, older adults usually need less calories than a younger person because A, the metabolic rate declines with aging, B, older adults are less active than younger persons, C, both of the above, or D, none of the above. And the answer to question number two, older adults usually need less calories than a younger person because C, that would be both of the above. The metabolic rate does decline with aging, and older adults are less active than younger people. Question number three. Which factors might cause a decline in meal intake in an older adult? A. Changes in cognitive status. B. Changes in cardiovascular function. C. Changes in nutrient absorption. Or D. None of the above. And the answer to question number three, which factors might cause a decline in meal intake in an older adult? And that would be A, changes in cognitive status. Question number four is true or false? Sense of taste and smell decline with aging. 
answer to question number four, true, sense of taste and smell does decline with aging. Number five, true or false, the digestive system doesn't change with aging. And the answer to question number five, is false. The digestive system does change with aging. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs or consulting dietitian services, please contact us at nutritioncaresystems.com.